everyone. Welcome back to Maisie's Garden. This is a general weekly message for the sign of Scorpio. This could resonate for your sun, moon, rising, and or Venus sign. If this does not resonate, please check other signs in your chart. Um, if you need a personal reading, my email is in the description box below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you can get um, you know, notifications when the weekly signs are posted. I am going to use the Moonology Oracle deck this week and the Gilded Tarot. I just don't have a box for the Gilded Tarot to show you. Okay, so this is our crystal grid for the week. Um, I do it every Friday because I start the... <clears throat> I do it every Friday night because I start the um, readings on Saturday mornings. So um, it will change for next week. But this is our current crystal grid in case anybody was wondering. All right. So this is for July 26th through August 1st. These have been casino shuffled. This is the Moonology one. We're going to put that aside for right now. <clears throat> this is the Gilded Tarot. It has been shuffled and cut. So let's see what's overall for the week. And you got the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, Scorpio, you're having major change this week. A karmic cycle is closing. Your <clears throat> wow, and the world's underneath that. Yeah, there's a major ending happening here for you. Um, and there's some kind of major completion, though it means that something new and good is coming in. Something, the wheel is turning in your favor. So whatever um, cycles that you have been in, they are now closing out. And it looks like divine timing has been at play with this. Okay, let's see how that plays out for the rest of your read, Scorpio. Monday is the three of wands. Hold on just a second. I want to move this so you guys can see them better. There we go. <clears throat> three of wands. Tuesday is the Queen of Swords. This could be air, uh, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Wednesday is the Nine of Cups. Hold on just a second. Thursday, Six of Wands. Friday, the Hanging Man. Saturday, the Three of Pentacles. Sunday, the High Priestess. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Let me just open this. Okay. So Monday, with the Three of Wands, it's you're waiting for your ships to come in. You've been waiting for something to come in. You might have uh, turned your back on something recently, and you're just waiting um, for what's rightfully yours to come in. You've been trying to use your logic with the queen of swords here on Tuesday, um, moving with logic, uh, not allowing your emotions to get the best of you using your intuition to make the best decisions and for the highest good of all, regardless of how you feel. Um, Wednesday, you're be moving into the nine of cups. This is wish fulfillment. This also could be indulgence or a celebration celebration of some sort or feeling good. Um, you know, so just be careful of like overindulging, especially in drink or anything of that nature. But, um, this, this also means wish fulfillment. This means that like something that maybe you wish for, maybe this, the, what you've been waiting for is coming in because then you have the six of wands here Thursday. You're feeling victorious. Maybe you're getting a lot of attention um, for something here. Uh, maybe, you know, you're you're really gregarious and there's something going on where you're getting a lot of attention. But um, I'm, I'm just seeing that for Thursday, um, you're... You're feeling like some kind of victory or attention... Because then moving into Friday is the hanged man. There's a different perspective. You're, you're allowing yourself to be suspended in air, to see a different perspective, to gain a higher knowledge, to see things from um, a different light or in a different light. Um, Saturday with the three of pentacles. Uh, this talks about working hard on something, putting in a lot of effort and a lot of work. It could possibly talk about a partnership or something of that nature. But um, to me, this is like putting in work 
And then the high priestess is uh, for your intuition. Um, you know, maybe some of you, I mean, Scorpio is known to be highly intuitive. So maybe some of you have gifts or you, um, you know, you do something like that and you put a lot of work into something that has to do with, you know, um, being able to see things or, you know, involving your intuition, having some kind of, you know, maybe some of you are, you know, just have gifts or whatever. And um, your spirituality, you've been really working on trying to gain a different perspective and have your wish fulfillment get some kind of victory here. You've been waiting for some kind of wish fulfillment and victory and really working in this moving through with your intuition and your higher self and being able to see the bigger picture here. Which this is a beautiful energy, uh, Scorpio. I almost said Capricorn. You might be um, dealing with someone or have Capricorn placements. But um, you are definitely doing a really good job at not allowing your emotions to override the work that you've been doing here. Trying to call in. Yeah, Knight of Wands. Something's coming in. Something's coming in. Um, <clears throat> I see something coming in pretty fast for you, whether this be an opportunity to work on something or um, maybe someone coming in, but some kind of victory and it's going to be coming in for you this week or just feeling very confident and victorious. And, you know, because you're using your intuition, you're moving forward in something. Yeah, maybe, you know, you've been a little bit in your head over a commitment or um, feeling entra like mentally imprisoned, like ruminating, going over and over, over something that you needed to see from a higher perspective or you needed to tap into source because you're much wiser or you're able to get through this mental conflict um, more than you think you could be. Um, just some signs that are out here. Uh, the high priestess could be Cancers or Pisces. This is Taurus. Um, Hangman could be Virgo, I think. Or this could be Pisces. I'm not sure. Maybe the, hand man, the hanging man is Pisces. So, But anyway, regardless of the signs, um, you are maybe in your head about moving forward with a commitment or some kind of higher level especially with the Hierophant and the High Priestess out here, there's some kind of maybe strong um, uh, spiritual connection that you may have with someone. And that's why you're trying to move with, with you know, logic and it, not too much of an, an emotion. But you're in your head over some, some kind of... Yeah, see, a new beginning. With... Your divine counterpart, King of Swords, because the Queen of Swords is already out here. King of Swords, Page of Wands. Yeah, you might get like a message and it puts you in an indecisive, um, you're indecisive over this new beginning that's trying to happen or this balancing or needing to use your intuition to see, um, to make a decision because you're just very indecisive about a strong, this is a very strong partnership, especially one of the mind. Between the Hierophant, the High Priestess, the Queen of Swords, and the King of Swords, this is a strong mental, spiritual connection. You guys might even talk to each other telepathically and don't realize it. Um, uh, Aries could be out here. Air signs, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius could be out here. But there might be a message that comes in that might make you um, really in your head. You might get a little anxiety. <coughs> excuse me, it might make you really indecisive, possibly about a new beginning, wanting, maybe they want you to take a leap of faith and move into a new beginning, you know, maybe that's what's coming in, and you're, you're, like, really in your head over a commitment here, you're in your head about moving towards, so that's, that's why it's really calling for you to tap into your intuition highly here, and really see what's going to be the betterment of, yeah, you need to really look closely at this. Eight of Pentacles needs to look closely. Oh, let me move that so that it's not as... Sorry about that. 
Oh. Okay. I just, I don't like the glare. I'm trying so that you guys don't have glare. There we go. Um, again, you know, looking closely at this, you know, these, these two cards are about working diligently, uh, but maybe really tapping into your intuition so that you can, um, know if this is what you want. Knight of Pentacles. You're slow moving with this between the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. That's a huge energy clash. Someone might be coming in fast wanting to reconcile or possibly, <clears throat> you know, bring some kind of victory and wish fulfillment in. And you're just like, I don't, I'm going to need to look at this. I need to kind of feel this out. I, this kind of put me in my head and I'm not really sure what I want and what I do, but slowly, but surely, I mean, you guys, these two nights are like, uh, going at each other. So it's like, you guys do want to come together or you do come together just one moves a little bit slower than the other one. Um, and really diligently focusing on um, building this up. I, I, you know what I mean? Like, I just, I feel like some, you don't have to go fast. Rein in your emotions, you know? Because um, there is, I, I think because feel like someone wants to move too fast and it really puts you in your head what is the outcome of this what is the outcome of this what is the outcome of this oh my goodness two of cups and two of pentacles balancing out of a connection yeah balancing out of a connection of a very strong very strong connection. Yeah, with love. This is an offer of love. Yeah, bringing love into the situation. Queen of Cups. The, and here you are, Scorpio. Queen of Cups. <coughs> I think you really need to bring more love into the situation. Get out of your head. Allow yourself to move with your intuition. But also just allowing yourself... Well, to be nurturing and um because there's some kind of victory or some kind of new beginning and it and okay any more for this spread anything else for this spread anything else maybe not being so emotional you know i mean emotionless Having more emotion might be able to bring in. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my God. The sun and six of swords. Yeah, moving away from negativity. Mo moving into calmer waters with somebody. That's what I'm saying. There's a balancing out here of a thing, that of, of a relationship. Um, this might play off of from last week as well because there was a huge transformation happening. And now you guys might be moving into more balanced by bringing more love into into this um walking away from negativity moving away from negativity um yeah the world letting a cycle complete moving away from negativity allowing yourself to be filled with love and use your intuition to create balance within the connection again Anything else for this spread? Ugh, the lovers. I told you you had like a really strong connection here with somebody. Yeah, and a decision needs to be made. This talks about a decision. Wow, ten of pentacles that flipped on its own. And the emperor. Yeah, okay. There's a major... You need to allow this new beginning to happen. There's a major change happening here. And <clears throat> someone wants to bring in balance. And there's going to be communication. It might make you in bring into your head. But someone's really trying to bring in victory here. And really stabilize a connection again. 
allow some cycles to close. I think this is going to be very fruitful because this also talks about, not only talks about completion and endings, but it talks about um, uh, gaining um, a reward. Like this is also talks about good things coming in. Sorry if you can hear my cats. But, um, all right, let's, let's get some moon, moon oracle cards, moonology oracle cards. This one flew out. Have faith in your dreams. Whatever it is that you, that you want to do, whatever it is that you, um, dream about at night, you know, whether it be having a family or having your own, uh, business or, you know, <clears throat> something that you've always dreamed of doing, allow yourself to have faith in that. What do you need to release? Uh, again, what, where was that? Walking away from negativity. I think that this, anything that is no longer serving you, be it thoughts, patterns, anything of that nature needs to be released. You need to get out of your head, Scorpio, and back into your heart space, out of your head and back into your heart space. A win-win outcome is in the forecast. Yeah, I told you someone's coming back in for apology and really wants to balance things out and really wants to win here, wants this wish fulfillment and wants to win. And, you know, there's a higher level of commitment. There's a really strong freaking connection here. <clears throat> and once you're able to walk away from whatever is negative and bogging you down, you're going to bring in that happiness and find, find that happiness. And look at the bottom of the deck, believe in the impossible. You might have once thought that it was impossible to redeem this connection or fix anything in this connection, but um, it looks like uh, a change might have happened or is happening this week from you, and now is, you know, with your patience, you're coming into and using your intuition, you're coming into a much calmer, balanced, new beginning the the universe wants you to have faith it wants you to take a leap of faith trust it because this is a win-win have faith in your dreams what you want wants you back you will be able to do this you just have to release not believing that it's possible that's really powerful you had an extremely powerful connection that's amazing scorpio um, I hope that this resonates for you. And again, if it doesn't, please check the other signs in your chart. Um, if you want to go deeper into this or if you'd like to have a personal reading, again, my email's in the description box below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I hope you have a beautiful week, and I hope to see you next week. Bye, Scorpio.